course, uh, people had a doubt that uh, whether we will continue with W after MOPA becomes a reality. Previously, we spent about 450 crores. Now, demolishing the old arrival and uh, departure, old part of the airport, we are spending another 250 crores. So, totally 700 crores. You mean to say, this 700 crores which are being spent and 500 of them have already been spent is for nothing to keep the airport closed. It cannot happen. We are in tune with reality. You will see it happening. Both airports will become a necessity because as you know, because of uh, naval restrictions we have seen sometimes, when they want certain slots to land at that particular time, those slots are not available because it is also a defense airport. So, those during that particular during that particular time, people will be able to go to Mopa. And uh, nowadays, people are going in the morning and coming in the evening. You have seen this new thing happening. It has been happening for quite some time. But there was a slight hindrance because of the restrictions imposed by Navy. With Mopa coming up, that restriction will go. You can go in, uh, in the morning to any big metro, complete your work, and come in the evening. So this is going to be a matter of convenience for people. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Very clearly, there is an agreement signed between all the stakeholders that after MOPA comes a reality, Dabulim will continue and I don't see any reason why uh, Dabulim uh, will not function as a normal airport. And by a study carried out by various uh, agencies, the growth in air traffic is only going to increase in a very big way. <coughs> As the growth in air traffic is there, naturally you need more flights, you need uh, space for aircraft to be parked, other allied services. I think with MOPA coming up, uh, you will have a lot of these things happening. And there is enough traffic for the Bulim as well as the privately run airport, which is going to be MOPA. This is the airport authority of India Airport. Uh, and since that is going to be also a cargo hub in a uh, big way, uh, uh, that is MOPA, I think we should uh, make efforts to really build it into one. Like uh, in the in, in the industry sector, I want to uh, have uh, logistics uh, as an industry being built up uh, systematically in a big way. Goa can become a trading hub. We have to work in that direction and I think our government is working in that direction wherein you will have people coming both landing at Dabolin, uh, both landing also at uh, Mopa and uh, they will decide between themselves. Ultimately competition is always good. Ultimately whatever they charge like airport charges, handling of uh, different air services, when there is competition between a private player and airport authority, there is bound to be a lowering of uh, the charges which will benefit to the uh, end uh, uh, flyer and this is going to be a win-win situation for everyone. Maybe initially for any new thing to come, there are certain teething problems. It is whether the chicken came first or the egg came first. Now uh, with Mopa coming up, we have seen the highway developing. We have a broad highway, distances are not going to be a problem. People will have the choice of landing in Dublin or landing in Mopa. That is what we have to give us. On the contrary, the coming up of MOPA is indicative of the tremendous emphasis on growth, on good projects, good infrastructure being built in the state of Goa.